Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And what we like to do here is uh, work with technology. And I love consumer electronic robotics. It's come a long way in a very short amount of time. I'm not sure if this guy actually has the power. Yeah, he does. So we got a head swiveling, eyes on and off audio and it will spit flames basic not flames but yeah we got stuff coming out of its mouth and it's interesting how much of this stuff we got around these days man it used to be back in the day if you had one of those teddy ruxpins man you were one of a kind you just couldn't get any better than that put some guns and roses in it and see how it goes let's see i gotta no 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 come on i know there's more trigger points than that That's pretty cool. I got this at a secondhand store for five bucks. And first thing I want to do is I want to get into it. And I want to see what it looks like when we get the uh, fiber off. Because like I said, the robotics on the inside are always the most interesting thing to me. It's always fun to see once you get this, their fur off, what they look like on the inside um oh that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so it definitely looks like <laughs> the neck is the big deal the neck is where a lot of the action is going to happen i should remember to cut away from yourself but i want to see what's going on on the inside here interesting yeah on the break the fabric changes that makes sense that makes a lot of sense it's interesting oh it's a for real friends i had no idea about that i've had this thing in the basement for quite a while and when you get everything off these guys pr look pretty gnarly it's interesting how much the fabric just seems to explode everywhere if you're ever doing this tear down do you see that I don't want to wear a mask. <laughs> I've never had so much fabric everywhere, but maybe that's why it is so... Maybe that's why it's so fuzzy. All right, so I'm slowly making my way inside, and I gotta say, this thing is put together much better uh, with the fur than most other units that I have taken apart, including the Robo... Actually, Robo Sapien didn't have any... Uh, it didn't have any fur but usually the fur isn't this difficult to remove on most of the things that i deal with so i gotta say these fur real friends so far i'm really impressed by how well all of this stuff is put together wow. guess that's when it's supposed to start spitting smoke all right, so the arms, the arms don't move on their own, but you can place them. The wings must move on their own. The tail does not move on its own, but it feels, with this plastic, the tail definitely feels like a thing. The wings m must move. No, no, they don't. They're, they don't not move, but they don't exactly move at the same time. So it's mostly just the head. I wonder if there's a sensor in there. Legitimately, I'm not exactly all that sure what triggers him to do this, that, or the other thing. Wow. Yeah, free moving arms. Okay. Okay, so we got... Uh, Eyes that open and close, ears that go up and down, and the head tilts back and forth, and then we have a mouthpiece. And then we have sound. All right. All right, what's next? Now there's got to be a way to remove the face mask, but I'm not seeing it. I'm wondering if I start taking out screws, if it'll if the face plate will fall 
off. Now I'm kind of intrigued with how it is kept in place. And maybe if I remove these screws. No. No. I'd love it if I could, if I could take this off and keep the eyes where they are. Now, before I go any further, I wanted to stop and appreciate uh, the robotics involved in getting this head up and down. We have a piston over here. I'm just going to call it a piston uh, on one side to help the head move up and down. And then we have this piece. Looks like we have a spring on it, too. And then around at the back, we have... Oh, okay. So that triggers the ears also. Okay. Okay, so basically it goes left and right and up and down. Okay, it looks like the wings pop open to give us some access to the speaker system. And I bet there's a primary... No, no, I was thinking there's a primary motherboard in there, but it's starting to look like if there's anything major in here, it's going to be in the head. I almost wonder if they only made this cavity so that people could get to the, uh, so the manufacturer could get to the speaker system. I strongly feel like I'm at a bit of a loss here for taking this unit down um, cleanly, so I'm going to have to start cutting my way in. Percussive maintenance. Oh, finally, I managed to get it off. Sorry, guys, I didn't even know that was recording. I just thought that I had uh, stopped that. Oh, I love this. I love it. So there was a sensor in the lip. Awesome. All right, let's try this one more time. Take it from the top. Okay, that's cute. That's beautiful. I like what I see. <laughs> as far as robotics go, this thing is freaking interesting. Oh, I guess that's how you feed it. Yeah, okay. Now here's the really interesting thing. Check it out. The circuit board in the side of his head has a plastic bag around it. Can you believe that? A frickin' plastic bag. A frickin' plastic bag. Huh. That is fascinating. Plastic bag will make sure that everything stays dry, I suppose. I've never seen that before. Why would they do that? Usually if they were going to do something like that, they would also put in something like a, 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 a silica pack. A pack of uh, silica but I'm not seeing that here. So I'm wondering why they did this. Do they want to make it water resistant? Seems like a meaningful question. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely not a whole lot going on in there. Like it has its own chip, but it's very small, very small. There's not a lot going on here. I mean, I'm really impressed with the level of robotics in here. Oh, better get that pin back in there before it falls out. I'm really impressed with the level of uh, electronics going on in here. Uh, there is a very small motherboard in here, very small chip, very small everything. But as far as robotics go, it does quite a bit, and that is really impressive. I think that is so cool. That is so cool. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Now from that stack, that's... Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, take care of each other.